Hey beauties and welcome back to Beauty's World. So today I'm gonna be testing out the new CoverGirl foundations for you guys. I will do a full demo and all that good stuff. But before we get into the video, please make sure you subscribe, click that bell so you can notify whenever I upload a new video and let's go ahead and dive right in. So CoverGirl was kind enough to send me the full collection to show you guys and review. This package is so heavy, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. When I got this package it said it was like 15 pounds and I believe it's every ounce of the 15 pounds because it's really, really heavy. So in this video I didn't really test out the, the bases that they sent but I will tell you guys what it is. So we do have the illuminating skin primer which looks like that for minimalizing primer here which has a little lavender color color neutralizing one which has that green effect skin smoothing one and it's like that white base so I will be testing these out a little bit later but I want to I wanted to make sure I showed you guys these and it has 1.0 fluid ounce of product inside of these also so that's really great to go along with the foundation the one that I really would use is the illuminizing one. I love to glow, so I love that. And I love that they have the skin smoothing one because God knows, sometimes you need to smooth out that skin when you have a lot of texture on it. And whenever you have a bad breakout, this one right here, the um, color neutralizing one, will be perfect to cancel out those red spots. And what was the other one? Okay, the pore minimal minimalizing one. If your pores are just open, if it's really hot where you're at, your pores like to just, you know, poke out this one will fill it right up for you all right so can we get into this packaging can we can we just at least talk about this a little bit <laughs> it's so nice I love it but here we go I'm gonna be trying out a few colors for you guys and I'm just looking at all these dark shades and I'm just getting my life and I'm like I don't know which one of these are gonna be the perfect shade because a lot of them look like it will be really close to my skin color so so that's why I wanted to demo a, quite a few of these shades for you guys, for you girls out there who are closer to my skin tone. You can see how these different shades look on you. So I like to match my foundation to my chest. So I just put three of the shades onto my chest to see which one was closest. Um, I think that last one might be a little bit close, but I'm gonna try all six of the shades on my face and you guys, you be the judge. So I did spray my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus just so it won't soak up all the product and I'm trying this first shade here. And this is D40 and I'm just using windshield wiping motions, not windshield, circular motions. God, I'm thinking I'm doing a makeup tutorial on my lids, but I'm not. So you can just, you're just gonna stipple it all over the face. All right, now I'm going to go in with that next shade, and this is D40. And you're going to just do the same thing. Now, already I see that this foundation is medium coverage. I'm more of a full coverage girl, but you know, it's all good. You can build it up. But it's looking quite ashy, so I'm pretty sure it's not my skin tone. That one looks a little bit better than the other one, but it's still not my cup of tea. And I am a NC50 in MAC. So like I said, that was um, D40 and D30. Now I'm just going to clean off my brush and I'm going to apply D50 on this side of my face. Doing the same little motion, stippling it on and it looks so much better than the other two. It also looks a little bit more like it has more coverage to it. What do you guys think? I think, it, I think it got it in the first try of being almost full coverage. Now I'm going to try D60 on the other side. And you guys let me know what color you think is the closest to my skin tone or what looks more flattering on me. I'm really, really digging D50. What do you guys think? I'm going to leave a poll up above with all six shades and you tell me which one is the best color for me. All right, now we're going to try two more. I'm going to try D15 and D20, I think it was. And obviously, D15 is definitely not my shade. It's more of an olive green type of shade to me. Um, we're going to go in with that next shade on that side and blend that on in. That wasn't too bad to me. I really think that matches my chest and that okay that was d15 the other one must be d20 yeah 
D20. Okay, so D15 looks better than the D20 on my skin tone. I'm really, really digging D15. Do you guys see how you can use almost all of these shades? Except for that one. <laughs> but yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and prep my face and we're going to go ahead and do a full makeup look with the D50. I chose D50 to do a full face with and I did apply it about twice on my cheek area to make sure I get more of a full um, foundation look. And I did take a few shots on the camera just to see if there was any texture, any flaws in the foundation and it looked really nice. And I will suggest to use a natural hair brush than a synthetic brush with this. It's just going to look that much better. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish up my face and I'm going to come back with my, you know, my final thoughts on this foundation. So I'm going to finish off this look with a little bit of Fix Plus and there it is. My skin looks nice and youthful and healthy. The color is flawless. I think it looks very pretty. So here's the final look. I really do love the way it came out. It does feel really matte on the face. At first I was a little worried because it looks like it's going to be a little dewy when you first put it on. But it did dry down and I did finish my makeup. The face feels really good and dry. Doesn't feel tight or anything like that. It's really, really lightweight. Um, it didn't seep into my creases. As you guys can see, there's no creases under the eyes, nothing in the smile lines because usually my makeup will settle into my smile lines and underneath my eyes. So it's good to know that this is not doing that. So that means it's a really good foundation. I always test my foundation on if it seeps into my creases, but I really do have a good foundation routine. If you guys want to see that, let me know. I'll leave a poll right here if you guys want to see me do my full face foundation routine because I do do things a little bit backwards I guess I use my setting spray as a primer I do use powder to set the um, under eye and smile lines before I even do my foundation if you guys want a more you know talk through in-depth makeup routine let me know and I will definitely get that out to you guys so like I said I'm really really loving this foundation I'm loving the fact that covergirl did come out with the deeper shades a lot of companies you know totally ignore the darker skin girls which is like a shame and a bummer because we have money too we want to wear makeup too we want to be recognized also so I'm really really you know giving kudos to them for getting those deeper shades out there in the first launch not the second or the third the first launch they do have a variety of colors and shades in this collection um, so most likely you will find your shade and if you don't you can mix and match the other shades to get your perfect shade so yes they did spend a lot of time with the colors in this collection so here's what the packaging looks like it does have this little applicator here a little pump and you can turn it to lock and protect your foundation from you know pouring out in your bag or whatever it will be perfect Perfectly safe with that little uh, locking mechanism that they have on there. I really, really love that. It says it's 12 hours. It is a matte foundation, like I said. It says it has no oils in it. It has one fluid ounce of product inside, which is basically normal. My MAC has 1.2 fluid ounce inside, and this costs like 30 something dollars, you guys. So they really are giving the higher end foundation a run for their money because you get a lot of product inside of this and it does look good on the face i'm really really loving it so far so good i'm really really loving the formula on this um i would have test out the you know the resistance of it because i seen a video where they had the foundation on their arm and they wiped it with a white shirt and it didn't budge it didn't get on the white shirt so it is supposedly a non-transferable foundation but I didn't get to test that out today. Um, I might test it out another day for you guys if you guys want to see that. I will try that out for you guys. But this is called the True Blend Matte Foundation. So if I didn't mention that already. Yes, so I did test out six of the shades for you guys. Let me know which one you like the best on me. Leave it in the comment section below. Let's have a full blown conversation down there. And let me know if I picked the right one. I think I picked the 50. I think it was 050. I'm not really sure now that I'm looking back on it, but I think that's the one I picked. Let me know if you think that was a good shade for me. Like I said, I like to um, color match my chest because I like to have that one 
fluid color. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, become a part of the beauty fam. Click the little bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Don't forget to check out my latest videos here and what YouTube thinks that you would like the most. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.